Hi everyone, welcome to another episode where we're taking our backgrounds and then finish them, finishing them into our finish journal, art journal spreads. The last episode, we used some of these quotes that I got from my Louise Hay calendar, an old calendar. Um, these are positive affirmations. And the last one, I used it just on one side. I did a border around the background and then put like a focal point. Here, I'm going to cut it up and put it on a background like I did before, like a white background for it to stand out. But I'm going to use the quote on both sides. So the entire thing will just be the quote and I will go in, I believe, with my pen, my paint pens, and just kind of pull out the background. I really like what's happening with the background. Um, with this one, it was a yellow background. Then I went in with red and magenta and different colors with a big brush and stamped it. So again, the bristles of the brush spread out and I find they look like flowers. So I think what I can do is pull out these flowers, put stems, and the whole background becomes flowers and we just have our... Um, you know, I'll quote. So that's, you can do it either way. You can go in with the flowers and then put the quote at the end. I'm gonna do the quote now. I just wanna see how it looks. So I love this quote. All that I desire, I receive. Life just keeps getting better and better. So I'm gonna do it the same way I did some of the others. Cut it, of course, you can keep it in a block. But when you keep it in a block, it's different because you can't space it out. So you have to think what you're gonna do with that negative space that's left. And I want it even, the green background and the white writing even on each side. Maybe take off a little bit more here. And then, you see, it can stand up there, but I feel like it needs something else to stand. Like, the background is so busy, it needs to be separated. And so that's why I put it on a border. And you can put it on a black border, or a darker um, color border, you know, dark blue or something. I'm going to do with the white. That always pops it. But the main thing is the contrast. We talk about contrast all the time you want to contrast um, the colors so that it pops. I'm looking for my glue stick, it's behind the water. <laughs> you know, it's one thing when you're in your studio alone and you're looking for something, but it's another when you're trying to make, oh, look, I'm not paying attention. It's another when you're trying to make a video and you can't find something. So you're like, oh my goodness, where is it? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. I put the glue there. I don't want to put the glue. You can put the glue and then the um, quote after, but around it will be sticky. So that's why I didn't want to do that. Some situations I do when we're gluing it flat and we don't have like a border around. This one, I want my white border Already you can see it is going to pop on that very bright and very busy. Here you go. What I love, I love this green. This green works really nice with that, with the little pops of green, as well as the red. As you know, green and red are opposite each other on the color wheel, which make them complementary colors. This one is too long. That's okay. I'm just going to take off the extra green on either end. And that should be enough. Yep. Here we go. And you all, you can decide what your the little border around can be. 
And you can do these in advance as well. So you have a bunch of them with the white border or brown, black border. I just kind of like to go with what works at the time. But it's always nice to have cut out um, text waiting, ready to go, boarded up, etc. Mine's a little jagged. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's really the effect of the contrast of the light paper, the white paper in the back, contrasting with the green and contrasts with this background. Okay, life just keeps keen. Okay. Getting better and better. Okay, so I changed my mind. I want you to know it's good to change your mind. It's okay. I forgot and I just did the three. So what I wanna do, I wanna split up better and better. I want to do it like that. Life just keeps getting better and better on this, this side alone. So think about how you want to cut it up because it all depends on the phrase and how you want people to read it and how you want it to stand up on the page, like how you want that composition. Where you put the quote, how you cut up the quote into sections as we read it, makes a difference. Makes a difference for your composition. Whether you're gonna have it in one big block, whether you're gonna cut it up and better. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it just like this. I think I cut it up that there. I'm going to leave it. I like that. So what I wanted you to see in this one is that there's no focal point. The focal point is the text. The focal point is a quote and how I cut it up, how I present it, how I glue it down, how I create composition with it being, it's the focal. And having that little white background helps. So many times I say background, then a focal, like a, a focal image that you cut out or you stamp or you stick or something, but you don't always have to. Your focal can be your text. And in this case, that's a focal. And then what we do what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna go in and um, you know, highlight some of that background and just jazz it up a bit. So it's still the background. So I have a very detailed background and I am going to, you know, then I'll have the background and I have the, the letters, the quote. See how it is? 